Where, where are you guys going to go eat? Annapurna. Oh, Have nice. you been there? No, I haven't. It's delicious. Wow. Where, and where is it located? There's one over off Eubank and Spain area, and then there's one in Unum and Silver and uh, Centralish, or we're in the Brick Yard, or whatever you call it, Brick Light. Oh, yeah. Of. Awesome. Oh, that's it's, a good you know, East Indian vegetarian, and it's delicious. You yes. like that kind Sounds of stuff. Sounds good. I noticed that Indian food to be a, a little bit spicy and it's kind of nice like a... Yeah, their food's a little, tad bit more mild, if you will. And I kind of actually like that. And it's oh, not yeah. as rich as a traditional... Like pars Because it's whatever. vegan and vegetarian, so they're not going to use a lot of dairy, you know, or meat. You know, and it's like right when you walked in, I didn't even notice you were visually impaired at all. <laughs> like, did you notice that? Like, I was just like, oh, you're going there. Yeah. Like, Jesus. So it's like, <laughs> it's, yeah, there's no, like, you know, if, if you've seen, if you've never been around somebody visual impaired, you wouldn't, nobody would know. Exactly. And if you see a movie, you just think, you know, I'm supposed to fall on the ground and spaz a little, and that tells you something about my <laughs> eyesight. Yeah, mine's a, it's a genetic thing. I've, it's reduced over time. So I have some central, but I have no peripheral, so. And, and how long over time has it like reduced? And, like, well, I, I drove until I was 27 and then I'm 40, almost 49 now. Uh, but I haven't driven since then. And it's kind of like, the hard thing is like, it's daytime's the best, but at night it's even worse. Like I don't see a lot. I have like night blindness in addition to the no peripheral. Oh, wow. I use the joke of like the um, 40 year old virgin where he's telling him he's like, use your peripherals. Like, oh my, that, yeah, I love that movie. It's like, <laughs> that, that's not me. I'm, there's no peripherals to be used. Yeah, that's kind of a little, you know, now I see the danger in that in the sense of if you're not used to it, you know? Right. Subtract that from someone who hasn't. You know, it's like it does make a difference. Well, and the driving thing ended up being like a, I could have actually still drove, but the thing is, like, my side vision is so was so like you wouldn't be able to see a little kid or something you know if i'm dr driving down the street not today i mean but like you know years ago i made the choice to like no nope, i don't want to do this yeah, that was nice of you it's like oh, yeah. i just that if i cause you know that's just stubbornness too far yeah i agree just because it's kind of like damn we don't want to recommend someone else or I was diagnosed when I was a kid, and uh, but they said like, oh, it, you know, at some point it will reduce, and then at some point, what? There's no timing for this thing. Oh, that that's good news though. That you yeah. said at some point it will reduce. That's, yeah. that's very positive. Yeah. It's not like like oh, like five days from now you're. Oh wait, I thought you meant reduce, like it'll start to go away slowly. Like, oh no, no, sight will reduce. Yeah. yeah, the other, it's not all at once. It's I see what you're saying, but yeah. it's a slower reduction. Yeah. It isn't like tomorrow, we're, you know. Right, and they don't know that if, like they say like, oh, it won't go to zero, but you know, they just, there's no pattern to it, which is the good or bad of it. You don't really know. Where are you from, Albuquerque? No, I'm originally from by Chicago. Oh, nice. But I have, uh, lived a lot of different places. I actually live in Oregon right now, but I was here and then moved to Oregon and now, you know, considering the weather to come back. That little pesky rain weather and maybe 
she over there might have some influence on this as well. Oh, okay. Don't don't tell so your wife's from here. <laughs> <laughs> She's a special lady friend at the moment. <laughs> well, that's a good story, but that's a good joke, right? You know, like Big Lebowski. We've, we've known each other about almost two years now. Yeah. yeah. That's so a it's, long time. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, even in Oregon when we moved there, uh, yeah, she came with me, and it was just the weather was not Lori, working for her health Lori wise. would call you my husband. Everyone thinks we're married. Oh yeah. And, and I don't blame her actually. Like as far as Oregon, I think because just because that weather is different out there, it's. My I had a really like quick visceral reaction. To yeah, that. it was just too that. <laughs> the, yeah. My body was like, oh hell no. It's just something about the like the wetness, dampness there is not good for her health. So. I. Uh... I've been here almost 20 years off and on. I just love it. So what do you do for a living? I'm a disabled veteran. Oh yeah? And what, what, uh, what branch? I was active uh, Navy, then I was an Army National Guard in the Army Reserves. Oh nice. And my, my, uh, my health care is superb here, so that's a big draw for me. Yeah, it's affordable to be out here. It's getting better out here, and you know it's warmer out here. It's yeah. If she's having conditions in the moistier weather, it's, it's not worth it. No, yeah, it's hor It was horrible. It was a big, like yeah. And I went there, or was excited to go there because of like a music scene. So I play music, but uh, with COVID stuff, like organs were way more restricted than anybody else. And it's still restricted, like. I get it from a safety, but it's like so far that it's it's a pain. Wait, so you play music? Yeah. Well, are you in a band or? Not yet. It's just me. Like I do drums, guitar, keyboard. Awesome. I was I was doing a bunch of other stuff, but with the sight getting uh, it reduced some, and it just made things a little. Some stuff was like anything with a small screen is pretty much worthless almost for me to look at. So. Wait, what does that mean? Like uh, a lot of these synthesizer things out there have this like tiny screens on them yeah. that tell you, you know, oh, this preset or this number, this value. Oh, I see what you're saying, so yeah. And that was just worthless. I'm like, I just, I had a bunch of that stuff and just decided to sell it and just, I've been focusing a lot more on guitar and guitar effects because the effects have taken a huge, like, leap and it have become way more advanced and interesting. Hmm. I keep getting copyrighted on YouTube, but they like me because I have people following me and I, I produce good content and everything. Yeah. And I'm positive, so eventually I want to get someone like you to make me some beats and nice. and then buy some like beats for the background just so I can do, you know, because they really like to hear the engagement of me and the client. Yeah. But at the same time, it, it can't be just dead quiet for me and the client in the background. Yeah, so you want something be... simple, exactly. like lightweight behind the scenes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I even like possible or piano or whatever. But... Yeah. Is this your is this your shop? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we were, I did like, you know, of course, Facebook, like, someone, like, recommend something, but then I got on, I think it was, what, Google? Or yeah, you did a search or something, use? yeah. You're, like, the top one. So oh, wow, I really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. yeah. You'll see, too, once I'm done with this, but using it up. Yeah, but even, like, the kind of stuff you're got right now, like, something like that little ambient of a little, like, you know, jazzy, trip-hop, hip-hop kind of beat thing, that's exactly. very easy to just... Here you go, and you, then you can just reuse it, you know, wherever you like. And but you can have that. You can have a little simple little piano riff with it or something. Nothing that would too be crazy. Awesome. And what I would do is just hire a person, and then they just make beats. I buy them off them, and yeah, and then they can you know. And then you've got the rights, you know, so that way you don't have to worry about exactly. So that's what I'm in the next. There's some crazy copyright stuff going on. Like there was a case was it a year or two ago where. Um, her name. Katy Perry got sued and the judge awarded the person who sued her because the song was in essence like Katy oh. Perry's and I'm like yeah I know oh, like that. crap that's in because essence. if you think about like, you like crap yeah, that. That. <laughs> classical <laughs> classical music covered pretty much anything that could ever be made so yes. it's like oh it's hard not to so Mozart's sense. family should be suing us all yeah I know. Because <laughs> in essence we're just doing Mozart Beethoven Bach whatever and it's like that's that's not good now I'm not, you know, and then there's, you know, the old cases of like Vanilla Ice where it's like, dude, you clearly ripped them off, all right? That's, oh my God. There's no doubt. 
you know, but LA is notorious for ripping people off. But it's like, you know, an A chord, a B chord, whatever, it's like the same stuff. So you can't, I don't know. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. It, it's too similar of a realm to, you can't call ripping off because there's only so many chords. It's gonna right. sound ripped off eventually. Unless you sample, you directly sample and like, look, that's clearly, like that happened with, uh, was it Lil Nas, Nas X did the Old Country Road? Yeah. They ripped off Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails, and then he went after them, and they made him an executive producer. So he got he gets, oh, I see what you're he gets royalties. Yeah. yeah. So in a funny, he sued them pretty much without suing. He, them. he threatened them. You know, exactly. it was like, look, you clearly. And when he threatened them, they actually knew he was telling the truth, and they, right. they adhered to that threat. It was like. L.A. people know exactly what they're doing. Like they're yeah horrible at that. If you don't catch them, they'll just keep doing okay, it. Okay, so you know what I don't. I found something on YouTube and it was a guy that was going around filming and he's walking into a public building like filming the police or whatever or filming like whoever's in there but all of them say you can't film but then when the police show up and everything it is his right I guess to film or whatever so I, it's just weird it's yeah just, I saw like it'd be one thing if you were filming like something which was like a trade secret you know but or a debit card or yeah critical personal financial information and that was like a weird show to watch, but it was like, damn, I kind of got addicted because it was like, oh, this shit is weird. I've never <laughs> seen anyone talk to the police like that. I said, God damn. Because <laughs> they're, they're all, oh, we need your name. And he's like, uh, that's okay. And it's like, Jesus Christ, I, you couldn't do that out here. <laughs> Sorry to say, it's like, damn, your ass would be grass. It was like. Well, yeah, it's, I guess it's all based on, you know, you everybody has the right to do what they want, but you're going to deal with being probably thrown in jail for overnight or something. Exactly. Maybe you can have a record, let's say you want to join the FBI or something like that. Right. Record, you can't do that. Or you want to just be any kind of high ranking. Any top secret official. stuff you're not exactly. going to, yeah. Even send you a lot. Damn, they would do a record show. Yeah. They're probably trying to, yeah, we don't want them. Anything with any kind of secret government related thing, it's like, no, if you want to work for Lockheed or work for some contractor. Hey, so do you have the whole keyboard set up at your house and everything? Uh, it's in Oregon right now, though. So I gotta, you know, come down here and reset it all up. But yeah, I have it all right now. So, is that stuff like real pricey to buy and stuff to set up? It depends. Like, I mean, there's, a, there's always a quality thing or maybe, like, I don't chase after vintage stuff at all there's a whole like i'm not i'm not getting this stuff to collect it i'm gonna want to use it yeah and i also like there's a price point where i'm like if it's too much i don't want to take it out and then what's the point like look at this you know it's like i'm not gonna buy a vintage pair of scissors which are called shears i'm gonna buy a pair of nano powdered metal 1200 dollars right. shears by mizutani <laughs> and i'm gonna create direction with them and, and, and right. everything else it is it's cool to have those, uh, uh, you know, those ones if you're going to collect them, but, you know, to get right. realistic and use them, you need to use relevance. And or unless you got a shit ton of money and you're like, you know, like Joe Bonamassa and you're like, I don't care. I'm going to take out this, I'm going to take this 59 Les Paul out that's worth fifteen, twenty five thousand dollars because he can. Oh yeah, I got you. <laughs> He's pretty interesting. Though. He he does all his stuff. He does collect. I mean, but he's an amazing player. But he also he he declares that he does the stuff because he likes the stories and wants to keep the, keep the stories alive. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. But he does have his own guitar that he played as a kid, and he's like, I can't take this out because it has sentimental value. So to him, it's not the money. It's just I see the sentiment and the story. I could see that. Makes sense. I just couldn't do it because it's like, you know, it's like having an expensive car and you park it ever away from everybody because you can't, you know, if it got dinged, you'd start losing your mind. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've heard of someone telling me that they they didn't go ultra high end on their car just for that fact alone. Yeah. Or like, I didn't want to have to worry about all that bullshit that comes along. And guitars it. are very weird. I mean, you can get like, there, there's certain groups like, Something between a thousand, two thousand is going to be a quality good guitar that you could you could gig with forever as long as you you know maintain it. And then you get up to these like custom guitars that are four, five, six thousand. I'm like I don't. And know. what's custom about them? Color, like oh, a just look. that no mechanical and customization. They'll, they'll tell you that there's something better about it, but you know as a player it's like, or maybe more better said, as a listener you wouldn't know. Oh, I got you. But you know, maybe it feels a little better, but and that's what's important to listeners, right? I mean, sure. 
I guess, you know, there's a kind of thing like the scissors is an interesting idea, right? There's a comfort to it for you to use it. There's an accuracy, a precision, and past that, it's like, well, is it more precise? Is it more comfortable? Well, okay, so, and, and these shears are, are, I'm gonna give you the reasons why they are. Mm -hmm. So these ones, instead of having the re regular traditional screw, screw yeah. they have a carbon resin fiber uh, bearing. So the agronomics behind that prevent carpal tunnel. Yeah. These are also the only pair of uh, shears in the world to use now you can't see it but it's carved in the blade nano powdered metal yeah that will grip the hair and that cuts the hair differently Precision and under a mind. microscope it wow. will look different <laughs> so and so to the naked eye you probably can't see right away but it does add that percentile of a difference to the naked eye yeah under a microscope you'll really see watch i'll show you uh well watch here it's because i can see it on there oh, yeah you perfect. can yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying as long as i'm holding it and these are sprayed all gold ones those ones have a screw uh and so, and, and, and these ones, and those were, I think these were a thousand, these were 1500 that I'm pulling out now. Wow. These are made of Damascus steel. Huh. So the different types of metal, yeah. in, in my expert opinion, uh, they, uh, they, they do provide a difference in the hair cutting. Yeah. But like, yeah, so it's like, you know, but mo most of the shit is, it's all hype. It's look at, let's take my Rolex watch for instance. Yeah. This is gonna tell worse time than the Apple. Oh no, they don't keep track. Sorry right. to say. Right. And, and and at a certain point it can't you pay twenty thousand for it. It isn't it, it, you can my Movado that I wore that was eight hundred right. was uh you know equally as good. Right. Just to be honest. But well, I mean does... there was a slight percentile of a difference. This says eighteen karat gold, right. that one doesn't. But well and the, like... your scissors and your skill is the same thing like a musician in an instrument like you could get a kid with a bucket and they can make an amazing song Absolutely. you know but you could give that you know you could give a non per drummer a ten thousand dollar set of drums and it's still gonna sound like crap so absolutely but let me tell you this andy warhol didn't get his supplies from target so <laughs> right the difference of when you want to go to that big money level he's the best of the best yeah but, but yeah two shakes you can definitely i can use prison tools and do a yeah. minimal haircut and I can use just a razor and home and do a haircut and it's it may be slower it, they bits. may bleed when you do it but you know yeah, it'll look all right <laughs> yeah imagine my god I've seen that happen too where someone just you can tell when the haircut's going to be good so let me ask her this what do you think of the length on that side do you like it that length or do you want it shorter than that on the sides this side here just both of the sides in general, like I added just a slight, not too much of a taper, but and then I squirted it in the like, back. What does it feel like to you? Right, the top is probably top's good. good. Top I like that. The top I went a little bit shorter, and I'm gonna blend this on the side. Uh -huh. Don't worry about that. Do you like the way? Yeah. This base of shortness is, or do you want to go a tiny bit shorter? Well, right now I'm having to go. I have to go back to Oregon. It's colder there. Okay, so, so we'll, the yeah. length is probably all, all right yeah. in that regard. So I'll blend these sides in yeah, nice I and clean. Yeah, Yeah, but like. It's on your ears. Like, what does it feel like to you? you know well, I'm gonna blend around those ears. That, yeah. That's not. No, this is good. I like this. Yeah, this is good. it is. Watch when I put it together, you'll notice it is. Okay. And I'll do around the ears. I haven't shaved his neck. I haven't done yeah. any of that yeah. yet. Now I'm good with that because I'd like to let it, like, I'll let it, uh, you know, grow a little bit more over the winter anyway. Oh, yeah, this, this one looks sick. Trust me, watch. I like the way this is going to look, watch, guaranteed. Yeah. I want to see what she says when I'm... Yeah, flat. 
Yeah, like on his own, just putting like some product in it. Can you just run his fingers through it? Yeah, I'm gonna put product in it warm okay. yeah. I just wanna blend these sides just a little bit better, that's why I'm gonna dry it. Yeah, you'll notice they might stick out a bit too. You might have to No, they won't. Okay. I, I cut them so they won't. Now I'm gonna right. soften it and I already knew that how I can already tell once I build into the hair yeah. that if you cut it too short, they will stick up. Yeah. But I'm going to take it down as short as I could without having it cool. do any sticking up. It's going to be, well, you'll we'll see. I'm good at nothing but this, but I am very good at this. How long have you been here in the shop? Uh, I've only been here three years. Okay. I'm probably going to open up a barber school here in the next six months. Huh. Where did you go to school? Or was it all... For barber school or whatever? Uh -huh. uh, I went to a Metro Barber School College or whatever. Uh -huh. They're closed now and then I uh, challenged the state board for my instructor license. And then recently just retained that. And I just figure it's 20,000 to go to barber school. It's like, damn, if you have 50 students a year, that's a million dollars. It's like, so, you know, it's, oh God. Yeah, even just a few would be a, you know, I don't know how much the license is, but. What, for them to get the license? No, for you to maintain your license, is that, uh, you have to pay per year for that? It's like 60 bucks. Oh. 100 bucks. So even so if you had a few, few kids or students, like you'd be coming out on top. Well, I don't pay anything for their license. I just have my own license. Okay. That's cool. That you have to get, like, just say you're a doctor and you go get licensed to practice, then you open up a practice and you see patients. Yeah. That's kind of what the education okay. one is. As long as you're a licensed educator, that you can then you can hand down hours. Yeah. You know, then you open up a school and you. Oh, all right. So they just have to have the time put in. Yeah, it's twelve hundred hours. So that's what you provide for them. Which is unfortunate here is they don't. You, you don't provide, they don't, they don't really, it's not structured to say that you have to pass like your, your initial test either. So it's like this school just graduates you huh. and then you're kind of on your own. Where I'll be different is all of my graduate students, I yeah. want them to come in so I can prep them and get them ready for the state board before they even go and make sure they have all the right equipment and, yeah. you know, have a hundred percent success rate of you know, passing students. Now a lot of the schools will just get you in there. Financial aid pays them and right. make a million dollars a year and they don't care if you graduate or not. Yeah, they just crank them out. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. And when they say like, well, you know, what, what will be different between your school and their schools? They don't have Dyson blow dryers. They don't even have all this equipment. Mm -hmm. So I'll have all the best of the best and then the best educators over there. Yeah. So it'd be like a super school. And so they get all of their shit, they'll have YouTube yeah. channel, everything else. It'll be all more geared towards 2022 and everything. And it's easy to do because, you know, financial aid is very interesting because you don't worry about payment from the student. Oh, yeah. You know, financial aid right. just cuts them and they pay for the schooling. And yeah, they got they it. They come and you get the money regardless. Okay. So that's kind of like a good thing. I think there's always room for a quality approach. Well, you know, you say you make 150000 a year as a barber. Uh, if you have multiple barber shops, you might clear 225000 A school, you'll clear a million a year and it'll be... You know, all guaranteed money. You won't you won't be cutting hair. That's it's kind of amazing. And if you you will be cutting hair because I right. do cut hair, but you'll do it for free as a demonstration. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah, because you're just watching over, supervising the students. Well, I'll be doing practical instruction, and then I'll hire uh, another educator to do uh, theory with them, which oh, okay. is which is just the written part of the test. But I've passed every test that they have known to man in this whole industry. So it's like there's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, I can really hand that information down for sure. That practical is worth a lot. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, because the theory anybody can pass. It's the same thing in music. Eh? Like you can find. You can pass the theory. You can find tons of kids that talk that can you know regurgitate a book to you. Absolutely. Like, yeah, but, it but doesn't, can you cut? It doesn't sound or look like anything good. Yeah, absolutely. And I've seen that a hundred thousand times. What is supercuts? And you'll realize that that's what that's oh, yeah. all that is. Yeah. And it's like someone told me over there that they don't. They're like, no, no, it's a timer. You got to get them out. And it's like, oh no, I could never do that. Cause it's like, damn. I doubt Picasso was just kicking out painting after painting or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, I don't answer the phone on like haircuts or anything. So it's for me, it's. Well, that's kind of gets the whole point of art, right? How do you find art? And art is not like, you know, you can learn lots of foundation things in a book, but expression, you can't. That's not teachable. Yeah, I have like 20 something years experience. Like actually getting her, so it's kind of like, damn, that's what I said, I need to start handing it down. Yeah. Because there's a wonder, that's uh, what it is. Watch, you can see it too. You can see. What do you think of that? What's that? What do you think of that? And then the back is. Yeah, it looks a lot better. It's stylish and clean. And weight loss. And he can do anything with it. Yeah. He can have it like this. If right. he wants to pop it up, he can pop uh -huh. it up. If he wants to add a little bit of that, I added yeah. texture so it'll stand up even. So cool. he'll be uh -huh. able to, you know, pop it, pop it like that if he wants to. Yeah. See how you like it a little bit more? Yeah. Or just a tiny bit more. Now see like that, you can yeah. have it, you can have it just like that. Okay. And look at how that looks. He has really good air. Uh -huh. And then actually, let me ask him about, so are you having a beard or do you want to have your sideburns outlined? Oh, I, I, sometimes I shave it off and so, so it's not. So let me not, make you sideburns then. Just they can, thing. yeah, they can be cleaned up for sure. Yeah. You can, you can have your nails going around. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. And watch, I'll make sure. Now that I know you're not going to bear a beard or whatever, I can. Yeah. Definitely can. Because those things grow like a weed quickest and get annoying. You can see how he looks now. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, this beard thing is like, give it three days, it'll, it's like Play Doh just comes out. Yeah, you can grow, definitely grow a full beard, honestly. Let's see this. Mine is just kind of fun here because it's not those. I mean, what products are you using that now? Is it a spray? Yeah, it's like a texture spray thing I'm using. Do you use a clay or paste? <clears throat> Do you sell any of the clay? Yeah, I, you know what? I'm all out of it. Okay, what would you recommend? I can always go find some somewhere. Yeah, and I'll show you which one it is. Because I've gotten hair dough before up on Amazon. I, I recommend this one. They even have it and carry it over at, uh, at that Ulta Beauty Supply. Okay. And for the same price I retail it for. So it's okay. like, you know, I'm just all out because these guys are going to buy it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can is even. Ulta? Yeah, it's Ulta Beauty Supply. And they should, yeah, take a photo of it. That way they'll have some over there. I think it's 24 bucks as well. Okay. If they're charging more, it's not worth it's twenty four dollars. Okay. Yeah. Well, sir, watch. Okay, so do you want me to show them the mirror? Nah, I'm good. Okay, just because, and I, yeah, I trust watch. her. All right, so. But see I want you to stand up and kind of s somewhat, because I know you can see a little bit see through yeah. over here too in the mirror. Just so be careful, watch because, and then I want to get this because. How does it feel? Yeah, that's the main. Yeah, thing. Like that's it. what I guess I was asking. I like that. And you kind of toss all the time. Yeah, because I, I like that too. I'll do this or do whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
That gives me enough options. Even oh yeah, look at that product is... though, how that product works in it. Look, yeah. I didn't want to do that to him because I didn't know for sure if he'd allow me to, so I left it yeah. a little bit conservative, but look, uh -huh. it will do that all day. Yeah, that's way better. You love that? <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Thank God. That, that, that is like more structured. That looks beautiful. Yeah, it's good. Good. I'm very glad that you like it's, it too. Because I, I notice I want to make sure that she's, because she, she knows oh, yeah. what you like. Watch this one. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it does that. I'm watching you do this. I'll pull it back up. This thing's like, this is a good weapon and a cane. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe when it grows out a little too, yeah. it'll shape up better. Sure, it's 